Well, how do there, chums? To Zai, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm going to be having a quick look at the No Man's Sky trailer that we got that gives us a snippet of that new ship and also the new space stations. Because I've got a little bit of a theory. This is off the back of a tweet that I saw. I'll head on over to the actual Tinsel web and show you the tweet that I saw, people. So over on the old Twitterverse, a Mike Snowcell actually put out this. Now, it got retweeted by Cyberpunk, and that's how I picked it up. But if I click on these images, now all these decals on side of this ship, especially these turquoisey blue ones, remind me of some of the ship parts that we've been given quite recently, which makes me wonder whether those ship parts might adorn a rage track. But we'll get to that later on, people. But they've noticed that this decal down the nose, this one here, We've seen it in game, people. But where have we seen it? We've seen it. Inside of the old Nexus. Ah, there it is, up there on the Space Anomaly. Yes, we're going to have a little jaunt around the Space Anomaly in a bit, people, and take a look, see. Because, yeah, I think they're on to something. It makes me wonder whether, just like this Utopia Speeder, whether the new Speeder class of ship might come into game. And yes, speeders might be a thing, and we might be doing some racing, a little bit like the old Wipeout games of yesteryear. So yes, when I say Wipeout of yesteryear, I mean, there's, there's the, the actual decal again there. But I've got Wipeout right here. I've muted it, made it a bit larger. But when you look at these ships inside of Wipeout, they are quite reminiscent of the ships that are inside of that trailer. I did like Wipeout, especially the music, but yes, the graphical themes of the ship are very much in keeping with these. I mean, look at that! Look! It almost looks like they've just ripped off the freaking ships from Wipeout and placed them into No Man's Sky. In that trailer, anyway, people. And as we go down to the actual starting line on this, there's this little robot. We've got a robot that looks like that, the little Rick Wiki droid, what I call it, yeah. But who knows, people, we might start to get ship racing coming into game, which could be pretty darn cool. I mean, the way that that ship takes off inside of the trailer, it's got these little red jets that pop up from underneath. Who's to say that if we do enter into a race, that it just skims the surface? We've got an extra flight mode. Right, so this is the trailer. Let's hit on up the trailer. Now, I'm going to try and pause this. Uh, I'm not bothered about, actually, there's some decals just underneath there. And now, somebody's told me if I use the full stop, I can actually move it forwards just a single frame. I can. This is great. Thank you very much for the tip. And if you use the comma, you can move it back a level. If you use the um, cursor keys, it jumps it forwards five, five frames or five seconds. Yeah, five seconds. That's too far. No one that far. Let's go back again. Five seconds. Let's just go forwards a couple of frames. I just want to get rid of that 2024 on those side decals, if possible. They haven't made this easy, have they? Then again, those side decals aren't as easy to see anyway as the other decals I'm, I'm looking at those ones there there we go that one there but it's this decal here that I want to better look at and I want to better look at this text here so I'm thinking and also these ones on the nose but I think these ones on the nose are repeats of these ones on the wing there we go let's just get a print screen of that print screen uh, yeah this screen is the one I want hopefully that's worked Right, okay, and let's open up Photoshop and we'll have a better look at these decals. Okay, right then, people. Well, I have cut out all the decals that I want to look at, but there is something else in here that's quite curious. If I get my magnifying glass, I've already pointed this out in my breakdown video. If you haven't seen my breakdown video, I'll put a link up there. Go and have a look-see. Because these are definitely crossed over flags, okay? They are little crossed over flags that look like racing flags you know that's what you see at the start and finish lines of racing i'm wondering whether that is to do with racing not to do with as i for first thought exocraft technicians now another theory that i've got is you see that this little kiosk down here you've got like a little vendor there and you've got a sign up there whoops i accidentally zoomed in i'm wondering if you go around the opposite side of this chaos kiosk because they're facing that way whether there's another one of these signs over on this corner over here. So maybe it ship parts this side, Exocraft parts that side, and it's the same over on this one over here. So this one has got Exosuit this side and maybe Multi-Tool that side, you know? And when you look at this kiosk, the reason why I think it is because that vendor is actually facing this way on this one. So maybe the animation of that vendor is just facing the wrong way, but this guy's clearly sitting and facing this way for your Exosuit. 
weird that we can't see any of the exosuits or the trinkets there, but it could be like it is now where things don't render in until you get a little bit closer. Then it seems to be another kiosk vendor down there. And there's one underneath here, but the ship's just taken off, so you can't see it right now. Right, well, I've cut on out all of those decals. Let's have a better look at those decals. I'll be right back with you when I've zoomed into them and I've adjusted their orientation. Well, let's start with this one here. This one's quite curious. So if I then just change its orientation, so if I go to Image, Edit, put Free Transfer Form and change to Perspective. Now, because this is on the side of the ship, near to the cockpit, if I was to just drag this up a bit like that, I think that this looks a little bit like, you know, that flying head autofrage droid. There's the eye type bits at the start, and this is its undercarriage. I think it might be that. It's, it's difficult to say for sure, but I, I kind of think that it could be that. The more I play with it, the more I'm convincing myself that it is anyway. But yeah, after I've applied its sort of orientation, so let's just hit that and hit apply, it should sort of render it in a little bit better. No, it's poor, too poor quality to get it, get it to look like it. But I honestly think that's it. If I was to rotate it a little like that, and then maybe stretch it a tad down like that, I think that is the flying autophage head. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, people. But curiously, they've got this turquoise line and this orange line. Now, the, that chappy that put it on Twitter said that it's from the Nexus, you know, the actual, the actual stuff on the actual front, on the actual nose of the ship, this. So let's jump on over to the Nexus and have a little butchers around, because I'm fairly sure this whole blue and orange line thing is quite predominant inside of the old Nexus as well, people. So I honestly do think they're onto something, and I think these cross flags over here is a good indication that we might be getting ship racing, especially since it's right near to this ship scrapping unit. Perhaps there's going to be more to these two things conjoined. I mean, there is a little chap standing directly underneath this. But he hasn't got a kiosk, so I'm wondering whether we go through this. I think this is a door over here, these little X doors. Hopefully it's a room to something more interesting than we've got on that side of the actual ship stations right now, because it's an empty room. But hopefully it's got a lot more to do with ship racing. Yes, yeah, so I'm wondering whether we're going to get ship race initiators, people. Now another thing, inside of the actual Nexus, we have this sort of icon that appears quite a lot. And it does look like a red line versus a blue line, or orange versus turquoise. But yes, it does look like some sort of racing frickin' badge, doesn't it? It really does. That goes. And even under here, you can see the red and blue line with some perhaps other legs? Oh, maybe multiple ships racing, perhaps four at a time? Oh, well, actually there's five there, but that could be a pit line. Yeah. <laughs> And above the kiosks, you've got red and blue. And it seems to be that red and blue or orange and turquoise seems to be a concurrent running theme. You've also got this sign up here that's been here forever with two sort of lanes pointing over here. And behind, draped, is a blue line and a red line. So maybe, maybe ship racing is going to become a thing inside of the Nexus. Yes, maybe we're going to get some sort of way of running races against our buddies. Now, something I've been saying for a long time is the Colossal Archives almost look like they're parts from these new space station type bees. And it also looks like these Colossal Archives have landing gear, like they've come down from space and landed upon this planet. I mean, this probably isn't the bestest example, but some of them have even got thrusters underneath. And it looks like they've actually got proper true landing gear. But yeah, at the same time, this almost looks like it's built for some kind of racetrack. You know, it's got all these landing pads here. The actual makeup of it almost looks like race pads. I mean, even these kiosks look like racing type helmets, don't they? I mean, I thought they looked like the Rebel helmets from Star Wars, but it just has that sort of more streamlined race type look about it in a roundabout way, people. Now, I'm wondering if when you come to the Colossal Archives, now, there is this giant map printing machine here. Now, at the moment, it just gives you a relic map. It points you to one location, but it looks like this map is far more evolved than point you, pointing you to just one freaking place. In fact, this looks like a galactic map of sorts in a roundabout way. It doesn't look like a planetary map, does it? Or does it? I don't know. It's very hard to say. But at the same time, I was wondering whether we might get pointed to places where we might be able to get some awesome modules or even some decals or new paint jobs to do up our 
race vehicles. And then after you've dug up whatever you've got, you take it over to this machine here, which does very little right now, and it changes that item into something to put on your ship to make it either a little bit more stable, to maybe give you a drift effect, or maybe to give you new decals or new paint job for your actual speeder. I think that could work quite nicely. They could work this in to being quite canon into the ship racing, rather than it just being here as another base that gives you the same stuff over and over again. So I don't know. I kind of feel that ship racing could be on the cards and we've got all the building blocks for it already in game. It wouldn't take too much of imagination and adjustment to make this a workable theory. But anyways, people, that's, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Now, inside of the building materials, we do have, underneath the flag, funny enough, is we've got these build parts, a black hole in the wall sign. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try making this as big as I possibly can and seeing if I can fly my ship through it, just because I want to. <laughs> right, let's just see if this works. Uh, okay, now I've just got to find a place where I can put this dang thing. In fact, if I just take off the green statey type stuff, I should be able to place it anywhere. There we go. So you know what, I'm just going to stick it as high as I can in the air. Hopefully it's not going to be obstructed. Probably will be. We'll stick it there. All right, let's see if I can fly my ship through that ring. All right, let, let's, um, let's give this a go. Right, let's just stick my ship. And now I am a total, I'm flying a guppy right now, so this might be a little bit easier. So I'm going to make it harder on myself. I'm just going to get a normal ship. That one there. That'll do. Pow. And we're going to try and fly it through that ring because I'm, I'm wondering the new decals on on that ship kind of have this sort of color coding to it and that ship and pilot sign and this one here i could see those being adorned on a racetrack you know what i mean all these look like racetracky type ones especially the pilot and ship sign it really does anyway let's let's go through that ring let's give it a go let's see if my theory works if not you know it, it could just be it's, it's a theory right now i've not tried this before people it looks too small i don't think it's gonna work but we'll give it a go uh here we are and we're not going through the freaking hole yeah that doesn't work <laughs> okay so maybe my theory of having that as a ship ring isn't something right now people no no i don't think it is all right cool yeah i better go delete that anyway there you are theory theory annihilated by testing there you are people don't say i don't go the extra mile well chums i thought i'd build it on the ground just to see just how small this is in comparison to the ship and yes it but then saying that these new ships that we're gonna be getting are a little bit slimmer than this one but i still don't think they're gonna fit through that ring i mean look you know the wings for this is it's, it's just not quite there. But you know what? This would make a really cool race part if we could scale it just that little bit bigger. And who's to say that they won't just allow us an extra, you know, double the scale on this blinking thing? Because that would make a really cool ship racetrack part, wouldn't it, people? But there we go. That's, um, at the moment, I don't think these parts are suitable for the idea that I have for ship racing. Oh, well, back to the drawing board. So over on NMS Depot, there was actually a part inside of the game files called the Starship Race Initiator Race Part. And look, it's got a ship on a little landing pad. And it says this platform acts as the start and finish line for Starship field tests, allowing travelers to pra practice maneuvers and speed. Pretty darn freaking snazzy, huh? So it was thought about. It didn't cost much to actually build the dang thing. But yes, this is going back quite a far build ago anyway, and they never actually made it into game. So it was something they were being thought about and toyed about with and played about with by the devs at Hello Games. Could it be that they're doing the same again, people? I put it to thee! Of course. Hmm. Well, chums, sound off in the comments. Let us know whether you think I'm on to something or am I clutching at straws on this one, people? You know, it's just a theory. I'm just going by little snippets of what well, you, you, you can see all the dots that I've put out there. You can join the same lines if you want, but I'm. it might not happen. It might be ship racing. It might be something completely different. We've got, what, a couple of seconds of footage to go by here, people. Would it breathe more life into the game? I think it could. 
if there is that element of going out there and searching for better ship parts to put on your ship and decals and all that sort of stuff to dress it up how you want it'd be nice if they add in some elements of ship customization into this new ship class of racer if that's what it is it might not be that at all it might be just a quick silver reward ship called a speeder or something like that or a racer and those crossed flags could just be an exocraft technician by people inside of the universe i'm just having a bit of fun with a bit of creative thinking I wouldn't even go as far to say this is speculation. This is this is just me being a bit creative and having a bit of a what if session with you people. So what if, what if, if this was ship racing so you can actually make a racetrack or you put down some sort of, I don't know, checkpoints along a race course that you can fly in the sky because there's two ways that they could do this. They could have that one that I mentioned, checkpoints through the air and you fly through all the checkpoints or they could do it where that ship has a new race mode where it sort of sticks it to the planet's surface and you hover above the ship's surface, a bit like in Wipeout 2077 and maybe they're going to give us a whole new race tracky parts type stuff and maybe let us scale those parts that I I showed you near to my archive either way that could be good fun i think it'd be fun would it be something that i partake in i would definitely make a ship race event or two heck yes i would there's some lovely planets out there especially the ones with the big rings you know even if you are to fly through those they'd make great checkpoints or if you can stick a freaking track through them that'd be freaking great too so yeah ship racing in no man's sky i think that would be a welcomed addition by the majority of the actual verse. I might have to do a poll on that closer to Christmas. Anyway, people, have a good one. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.